G'day guys, Jono and I are down here at Sunshine Coast at All Terrain Warriors. We're about to do a factory tour with Nick and Chris. Mate, keen to actually see the process that actually builds that go and then make these trucks what they are. So I reckon we'll go and have a look, eh? Yeah, I'm looking forward. Let's go and see. Chris, hey guys, how, how are, are you, mate? Rick. Hey, Chris. Good to see you again. Yeah. Mate, so John and I thought we'd just come down and show everyone at home what ATW is all about. Yeah, for sure, mate. Show us where all the magic happens. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, here we are at Yandina Sunshine Coast. Uh, this particular building is number 44. It's one of three premises that we've got here at ATW. Here we do a bit of sales, CAD. Uh, we've got some fab shed down the end. We've got some final fit out stuff, also a little bit of paint. Yep. Yeah, car park is a little bit limited at the minute, so we've got so many trucks on the go. Well, but we know um, you've got some big plans ahead, so we'll run through all that as well. Big so, plans, yeah. yeah. There's plenty, um, plenty going on here at ATW at the minute. So yeah, happy to show you guys around. Let's go and have a look, eh? Sure. After you, mate. All right. Yeah, Thank you. Right. Guys, so yeah, this this little space that we've got here, we we sort of share between sales and our and our CAD team. Uh, as you can see, Jamie's in the process there of designing uh, another canopy body, what it looks like for a customer. Um, so all of our stuff is three D modelled, broken down part numbers, bill of material, um, and then before anything's built, we send that to the customer as a final sign off, and then uh, away we go. So they get a full view of exactly how it's all going to look. Yep. Before, yeah, more or less. So. Yeah. so I'm guessing they give you that your their wish list, you know, and like yep. then you put it in design, so what they want incorporated into the tray and the build. Yep. So Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of the trucks at the minute are yeah, set up for touring, you know, a lot of tray bodies, a lot of a lot of canopy bodies. Yep. Uh, people want to use these trucks which is exactly what you guys are using them for, you know, get out there and, yeah. and make the most of the size and the weight. Yeah. We then put all the jobs on a on a spreadsheet. So we've got Amanda here. Um, updating our current spreadsheet. So it's got all of our truck builds, uh, it's got all of our send out jobs, any of our dealer jobs as well, all go on the one big spreadsheet to control that. You have to wear many hats, Amanda. I certainly do. Many hats, yeah. 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 So yeah, if you phone through to ATW, there's a good chance you'll get Amanda, first point of call. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, she'll, she'll point you in the right direction. Great. What have we got here, Chris? Uh, so this is our main main fab shed. So basically everything is CAD design as, as you guys saw. Um, yeah. We then currently get it outsourced, laser cut, folded, and it comes to us in these packs. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the boys grab the parts, grab the works order, put them together. Um, and then from there, they're off, off to powder or paint. So design's done here, you externally cut it, and then full assembly's done here. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we're doing anything from Trays, canopies, tow bars, underbody toolboxes, all that sort of gear. Yeah, all of the, all the stuff is done here in house. Um, obviously, we don't have a, a powder coat facility, so we use our mates up at you know powder and paint. Yep, George at Dynamic. Yeah, George right. up there. Yeah, so um, I like to keep it all local. It works well. We all work together. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can see what we got is some tow bar brackets. Um, you know, our, our body mount brackets ready to get fizzed up. So it's yeah, all so here. That's just Sorry, that's your spring mounts for under the trays? That yep, like yeah, they're the top mounts, so they're a weld-on mount. We yep. do weld-ons or, or a bolt-on top mount. Plenty of stuff ready to get put together to make the next uh, make the next touring truck. Yeah, right up your alley, Jono. Oh, mate, I, I love metal work, eh? I've been a panel bitter. Yeah. Yeah, so the boys just pick what they need, go assemble them, like all the welding then, then they go into that, like you said earlier, either yeah. powder coated or painted. Yeah. Then they're right to go. Yeah, so obviously we've, we've been around for a long time. Like years ago, we'd get We'd get a sheet of steel, we'd get the oxy, we'd cut it out ourselves, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. fold and paint. But these days it's it's laser cut, it's fold, it's it's a lot easier, you know. You do your smart work in the computer yeah. and then um, you know, the hard work's out here. So, yeah, I often joke, you know, we need to put something together without even using a tape measure, like that's where it's got to. Yeah. So everything is everything is keyed, keyed in, so it all it all locks together. Yeah. Um, so there's no you know, there's no way the boys can't get it. There's no guesswork at all. No guesswork. And then, yeah, from there you can see radiator guards here, just ready to be assembled as well. So, yep. we've got some water tank brackets. Um, the boys are putting together another tray over here. So, yep. um, this is our, our current design steel frame tray that we're doing. So, we're currently in the process of working on a, on a full aluminium construction as well which will supersede the, the steel subframe. Yeah, right. Yep. Um, just going to be lighter, you know, stronger, more uh, corrosion, you know, corrosion free. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, this is so good to see, mate. There's still Aussie manufacturing right here. So 
you do not just one product, just a whole heap of products that all go together yeah. for the um, end, end result, eh? Oh, that's right. And yeah, as you said, there's so much offshore stuff these days. Everyone's bringing stuff in from overseas. Yeah. No. yeah. And it's great to see it staying here. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, and when we... When we can't do it in-house, we, we keep it local, you know, like yeah. the, all of our tubes are bent up here for our bar work, like that all gets done in Brisbane. Yeah. Comes to us again, all, all pre-cut lengths ready to, to join together, so it to works go. really well. Um, like you said before, it takes that guesswork out of it, so we still do, you know, the odd custom job where we'll need to cut a sheet, yeah, you know, sure. put it size, fold it in-house, but um, yeah. yeah, most things we like to have drawn, part numbered, you know, and then there's a process of, of build, so, if anyone ever damages a rear toolbox or something, it'll got a part number, you can ring us up. You can match you know, it up. We can, we can reproduce that part straight yeah. away. A lot of people don't realise we build four-wheel drive bus bodies as well. So yep. we might have a bus body in here up to 35 seats. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically when we put the buses together, three or four guys attack that frame at once just to just to get it out it is a big unit when it's in here so um yes yeah, so that goes back to like the fraser island tour buses yep she used to do a lot yeah, of lots of fraser a lot of mining buses yeah. over the year um we're just about to start five buses for the defense force so wow yeah um, that's a good contract so yeah, oh, yeah. constantly yeah. doing yeah different things within the business so good to see so yeah this is basically the start of of the project uh and then we we take it on from there so this will then either get you know powder coated or it'll get painted in house yep. uh, and then the boys then move into more of that uh, assembly um, section so yeah we can go and check that out now yeah okay yeah. so chris we're in the paint shop this is where all your preparations done and your top coating of all the products so i imagine that they'd be ex um, epoxy primed then onto the top coat raptor coat or yep. whatever you use yeah that's right so anything we we don't get powder coated gets finished here in yeah, house okay. um, all of our tray subframes, epoxy painted, raptor coat, as you say. Uh, the perimeter beams, raptor coat. We do tray sides, headboards, um, smaller parts. Just where I guess it's too hard to powder coat some stuff, or whether it be too big or, or um, yeah, it can't fit in the booth. So yeah, we finish it off in here. So um, another important part of the process, I guess. So yeah, it's the preparation yeah. and the painting. Yeah. So basically, cut, fab, paint, and then we um, yeah move into more of the assembly line. Cool. So guys, like we mentioned before, like most of our canopies are, are raptor coated. So these are some that have just come out of the booth yesterday. Uh, still masked up, ready to go. So from here, doors will get hung, then they'll get put onto trays and, and into a final assembly mode. So yeah, um, yeah, various different accessories we can put on the top, you know, boat loaders, rooftop tents, awnings, whatever the requirement is. It's uh, yeah, all fitted up here in house. And solid raptor coating too for um, corrosion resistance and yep. a bit of toughness to the product, I guess, to the canopy. Okay? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so raptor, you know, is a spray-on process, but what it means is that it's it's easy to to touch up. Yep. So you know, if people are going to, heading down the bush and they're scratching up their vehicle, yep. it means they can buy a kit from Auto Barn and and touch it touch up to it. suit. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's good in that regard. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, we that. use a lot of raptor. No, that's great. Yeah. All right, through to assembly. That's it. All right, Chris, what shed are we in here, mate? Uh, so this is the, the first stage of the cab chassis prep. This is where trucks come in, parts come into suit. Um, yeah, I can see Nick's here with the boys, oh. setting one up now. Nick, so, how are you, mate? How you going, Rick? Good to see you, mate. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good, mate, good. Yeah, just checking over the boys here, fitting the uh, raised breather kit. So basically, front and rear diffs, gearbox, transfer case, and dual fuel. So. Young Brodie's is fitting the airlines now, so we get another fuel tank fitted on this side. It's a genuine 140 Isuzu tank. Yeah. Um, so you use, modify them for the outlet on the other side? Is that how that works? No. Um, with our tray cutouts, we modify the filler to go in the position of the cutout for the tray. Yeah. But if it's just a standard build with no tray on the back, we'll just leave them the standard filler points. Just one, yep. 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 And yeah, down the back here, we got young Kai fitting a rear winch tow bar. So four and a half ton rated tow bar with a winch cradle. Yep. Um, we like to fit all our accessories to the chassis before we even get started on the trays, because it just makes it so much easier. Run all the wiring, fit the winches. But yeah, this is pretty much stage one. Yeah. So I see you got a few trucks in here. Everything is done in this one spot. So this truck stays here and gets basically all the fruit put on it. Yeah, pretty well. Um, 
we're going to organise it a little bit better with a bit more of a production flow, but at the moment we've just got so many trucks at certain points of build where we've just got to get them in wherever we can get a spot. Yeah, I've seen them lined up out here like they always are. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. All right, Chris, yeah, everything's fitted up here, so off to the next shed, we'll, um, we'll go and check out um, next stage. Yeah, that's right, so you've seen the chassis, you've seen the tray started, um, we'll go and show you how they all come together yep. and, and see that final product. Hey Rick, Nick, what's going on here? No, oh, it's a bit of a secret, that one. Oh, we spotted it, mate. Top secret. <laughs> uh, secret, not so secret. <laughs> oh, wow. So what's the go? Uh, yeah, so I don't know if any of you guys remember our original, what we called our original hero truck. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's been out, of, been out of action for probably the last 12, nearly 18 months now. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's had a bit of a birthday, and as you can see, we've, we've added another axle to it. So, um, wow. Yeah, there's only one other MPS in Australia that we know has had the 6x6 conversion. Um, so yeah, we used um, Bob from 6x6 Australia down at Korokai. Yep. He knows his stuff, airbag rear. So basically we've taken this GVM from 7.5 to nearly 11 ton. 11 ton, wow. Yeah. What so a machine. Yeah. What a beast. Massive <laughs> payload, so yeah. So you, you know that uh, truck you just built for me? You do trade-ins? <laughs> <laughs> so who, who yeah. gets this one? Is it yours, Nick? Or oh, both of you share Flip or? the coin at the moment, but yeah, we've got a lot, lot to go to still get it on the road. Obviously, the tray's going to be the next thing. We've pretty well prepped all the air lines, all the brake lines are being redone, got hydraulics. Um, yeah, so we're pretty well ready to drop the tray on, don't you reckon? Yep, yeah, a bit of rust proof in the do, and then, yeah, tray will be on next week. And um, yep. So you are keeping this one for yourselves? Yeah, yeah mate. Yep. You won't be selling yep. this one in yep. a hurry. No. Yep. Yeah, I think, I think cool. the old boy will be putting his name on this one. And, um, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pulls. Building something with a big motorhome or a big buggy or something on there. And Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's going to be a going to be a beast, Unreal. that's for sure. We're keeping an eye out for this one on the road. Yeah. Oh, that was shed number one. Um, yeah, we're going to have a look at what happens over shed number two. Yeah, right? cool. Yeah. So we've got warehouse, dispatch, um, where we get all that stuff coming in as well. So um, you can see a couple of pallets ready to go out. So yeah, dispatch trust, Australia-wide, worldwide. Yep, so everything you manufacture, you'll send overseas? Yeah, more or less. So yeah, we just make sure we've got the right spec trucks worldwide and you oh, know, so and cool. the chassis are generally the same. Motors might be different with the Euro levels, but yep. yeah, most of the stuff we can we can send out. Yeah, most of the Japanese stud patterns are the same. It's either a six or a five stud. So yep. you can send the, we did a lot of, do a lot of rims to Japan especially, um, Europe as well, Poland, um, America. So wow. yeah, there's definitely a market there for it. I didn't realize you were sending this gear yep. so far. That's fantastic. Yep. Didn't even know that. That's, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, and then this, this shed that we've got in here is where we, more storage again. Um, you can see up the top here, we've got all of our tyres up there. That's, that's one of our tyre storage area. We've got other tyres put away in containers as well. Yep. So it's the biggest thing about at the minute, you know, is having the stock. Yeah. You know, stock is not easy to get. So, yep. you know, we go above and beyond to try and have that in stock so we can build these trucks or, or send those products out. So, yeah, well, I suppose tyres are probably the, the main mod you do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's where it all sort of, not where it started, but that's where our accessories started. You know, it started with the buses and, and then it, we started doing accessories, and, but that was the main, that super single conversion was yeah. one of the first ones we did. So, yeah, um, tyres, see some rims over here ready to get fitted up. Um, we've got tyre fitting equipment, balancing equipment, some rims here. More tyres again, yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on in here. A few different sizes too, 19 and a halves versus 17s up the top there, so yeah. that's where your load rating comes into it. Yeah. So obviously the 19 and a half inch rim, you're going to get a, a 3000 kg load rating and those tyres will take 3000 kgs, where you run the 17 inch rims, it's obviously a little bit less than that. So we advise people that have got heavy trucks towing Big boats, heavy canopies, definitely to go the 19 and a halves. If you're a tradie with a light aluminium tray, canopy with a few t few tools in it, then the 17s are fine. But yeah. when you're really loading these trucks up, you need to step up and know your weights and yeah. definitely know what rim and tire combo you need. 
Well, that's why these are taken off so much over the 79s and that. Yes, you've got a lot more, but you still need to think about it and um, dot your I's and cross your T's as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, you know, towing a four and a half ton van, you want to be as safe as you can. Obviously, there's a lot of families towing these days. You get, like, you would be surprised the amount of young people that are actually stepping into these vehicles. And, you know, obviously we've got kids as well, so we try and get them to go in the right direction, be the trucks as safe as they can be. Um, Definitely, yeah, if you're doing that tow that touring towing combo, it's the 19 and a half all the way. That's why it's important to talk to guys like you, the, your experience, you know, passed down from even your dad, come and talk to you guys about what's right for that particular person. It's not, yeah. a, it's not a one size fits all. No, exactly right. Yeah. A lot of that falls back on compliance as well, you know, like you just can't slap a set of rims on a truck, you know, we're at heavy vehicle, everything's got to be mod plated, everything's yeah. got to be certified, you know, you can't put a a fuel tank, a tow bar, you know, single wheels, changing seats, everything's got to be mod plated. So there's a lot of people out there that, you know, just slap products on, but we will never do that. We want to make sure we can support it, compliance it, mod plate it before we before we sell up. Duty of care, you know, is insurance is purposes. In. Insurance, yeah. yeah so that's a big thing. That's right? a big yeah. one. If you have yeah. an accident, you don't have a mod plate or an SSM on there for those wheels, you basically void all warranty and do it the right way, do it first time. Do it once, do it right. Absolutely. But um, just one thing before we left, I just want to show you the 22 and a half inch rim too. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know about these rims because at the moment it's more the small MPS, the FG7, FGB 71 canners, for instance, the Hino's. But if you look over here on the shelf, that's our 22 and a half inch rim. So they're for your FTS, the Hino GTs, FSS. They've all got different offsets as well, so similar to the smaller 19 and a halves. Yep. Um, these bad boys, the wheels and rims can take 4,500 4, kilos wow. each. So that's super load. So when the guys are doing the beach towing up at Fraser, Rainbow, Morton, that's the tyre there and rim combo they're running. So like the recovery trucks you mean? Yeah, yep. yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, so that's just another little, little one that not many people know because the trucks aren't that popular, but yep. Yeah, we do have a single wheel conversion available for the bigger four wheel drive Jap trucks. Wow, excellent. Yeah, so this is basically, yeah, suspension, wheels, um, yeah, number two factory on, on the premises. So yeah, what we've got now is, is another pretty exciting thing that we've just moved into. Um, factory number three for us, so we are expanding. Yeah, exciting times, we'll go and have a bit of a look, eh? Yeah, Check that'd be out. great. So yeah guys, this is uh, factory number three, I guess we're calling it. So it's right beside um, our current facility at 44. Um, and we've literally just taken the keys. It's brand new for us. So we're 3,000 square metres of land, um, six, 700 square metres of building at the minute. We've got big plans out the back. This blue shed, as you see it, will become our new showroom office. So yeah, fully recladded, big flyover roof air-conditioned showroom where we can fit a couple of trucks in there at a time so people will be able to come in have a look at the trucks test drive the trucks yeah sit them down um yeah and have a good walk through and so yeah you've been limited on space for so long the amount of trucks i see you squeeze in over here and yeah. end over the road yeah this must be right. just a game changer yeah definitely outgrown it so yeah. yeah it'd be nice to get over here and have a nice clean showroom to really show off these trucks in a nice environment oh, mate, for a handover. Excited for you. Yeah, yeah no, but yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's a big decision. Um, yeah. yeah, but you know, we can see it there. It's, yeah, expansion for us. And you were saying a big roof over the top of here? Like we'll be under roof here? Yeah, basically where the trucks are, we'll be fully well under roof. And then, yeah, the ability to drive in and out. Um, so we'll keep this as the um, as final fit outs. This is where all the clean yeah. work will be done. So trucks will be fitted, trays will be put together. Um, our original factory will become still still maintain the fab, the paint, everything over there, and then we'll have the final fit here. As you can see, there's plenty of hard stand here. Yep. I reckon we're probably going to be able to fit, you know, 60 to 80 trucks in here if we stack wow. them right. So um, yeah, at any one time, like I think we're we're down to about 25 trucks now, but you know. Late last year, we got up to nearly 70 trucks. So yeah, I guess the last piece of the puzzle is is when they're all finished. So we've got a couple here that we've just pulled out of the line. This is a couple, they're both going to the same dealer in Victoria, actually. So all ordered through the Isuzu dealer down here. And um, getting a lot of lot of inquiry out of Victoria yeah. at the moment. Yeah, so basically, you know, they, they are two different trucks. 
two different bull bar designs. Uh, that's got our Dakar style spotty, same as your truck there, Rick. Um, whereas this one's more conventional. Conventional hoop, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you can see this is what that finished product we were looking at. We were looking at canopies before. We yep. were looking at trays getting put together. This is basically the finished pro product here behind us. So. Um, And then this this one over here, it, it's going to actually be um, a slide-on motorhome, I think. So that's why it's got not tray slides. It's going to have a little jack on and off camper, which yeah. the customer's putting together. So, um, but yeah, two very similar trucks, but yeah, different style, different look. Um, 19 and a halves on this one because it'll carry a lot of weight. Yep. This one here's still got the 17s. Um, that's about as heavy as it'll get. It'll have some stuff in the canopy, maybe a couple of push bikes on the back. That's all the all the decisions. Your customer's got to make. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. 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 And it's always good having product here for them to show. And that's yeah. that's the idea around this is to have that showroom. Absolutely. Put them in a truck. And now with your own trucks here too, that's another yep. good thing. There's always yep. something to look at. So credit to you guys. Absolutely. Fantastic. Appreciate you guys yeah. coming out. No, and, thanks um, for the yeah. tour. Well, guys, if you're after an expedition truck like mine or uh, like your terrain build here, I'm sure you get in contact with Nick and Chris here at um, All Terrain Warriors Sunshine Coast. Check out the details below in the description.